I wanted to show you a jacket I've been using for a while now. This is the Dutch DPM 3-in-1. Now, it is really good. I would say it's not as warm as the modern materials. It's got this fleece liner on you. So the reason it's 3-in-1, you've got this fleece liner, a Gore-Tex liner in the middle, followed by the camouflage, camouflage windproof layer on the outside. You can get the hood for it, but I had to purchase this separately. And this is also, also Gore-Tex. It's a little strange, so it just, it doesn't actually attach to the jacket itself. It's just, it's like a standalone thing. And you can adjust the, how, um, how tight you want it. Three different settings on the buckles. And it just goes like that. Hood, probably the weakest part of this design. If you move about too much, you can see the rain is going to go back down the, uh, down the back of the neck there. I think I'd still recommend getting the hood with it. But it is a bit annoying. You've got to just keep it in your pocket. It's the only way to do it. That's the only way you can tell that it's waterproof. It's got that little green bit on there. And that goes all the way through inside. Closer look at the jacket then. You've got the Dutch flag on there. We've got... That's the pocket I've got the hood in. I just keep it in there all the time. Got a pocket down the bottom, one at the top, and one on the sleeve. No sleeve pocket that side. I've added the Welsh flag on there. But we've got reinforced arms, velcro to put your name tag. And this is a great jacket because it's customizable for the seasons. So you don't have to purchase different things then. It's a little bit fiddly, I've got to say, to take these on and off. I will probably just be leaving this on, just to save the effort. Um, but as you can see, you just need to unbutton these to take this one off. There's a separate set of buttons for the waterproof layer. But the three together makes a really good combo. I was very confused what these were for for a while. But I realised these mittens go with it, which are an absolute bargain, by the way. £8.50, I think. And these are fantastic. Inside, you've got a really nice layer. Nice and warm. They're thick, which you want, so you won't let in any drafts. Leather, which increases the windproof layer gives you short-term fireproof protection as well if you need to grab something out of the fire. And these are fantastic, I definitely recommend these. So they come buckled together, but what you can do, like as if you were back in preschool, <laughs> put them on there and you can't lose them. You know, the amount of times I haven't realised that. I've taken this out to camping about three times now and I keep thinking, what is that ring for? I can't suss it out. But that's just perfect if you need to slip your hands out for, just for a second and not lose your mittens. Ideal. Really strong zip. You've got buttons to go over it as well. And with that hood as well. And mittens, which you cannot lose. This is a fantastic piece of winter kit. The jacket wasn't cheap. I think it was about 50. A couple of extra quid for the hood. And the mittens are probably the biggest bargain, £8.50. But yeah, definitely recommend. I'm a little slow to the party here because this isn't a new jacket. This is 
It's from the 90s, but it's new to me. I think it's spot on, guys. So I will say that it's probably not on par with the newer materials like down, which is a lot lighter and more warm. But if you're sitting by a fire, you don't want those sparks to come out and burn that down jacket, which will light up very quickly. You can easily get little holes in it. This is a lot more rugged, less likely to get damaged. So for the certain situations, this wins out. Thanks for watching that little review. Catch you again soon.